Today let's see how else if clause works in C programming. I'll take an example of uh, printing out the grade by taking average of 5 marks. I'll ask the user to input marks for 5 subjects. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. And then calculate the percentage of these 5 subjects. Remember, we already saw this grade assigning logic in our previous video. I am just using else if clause in this program instead of nested if else. So if the percentage is above 100, I'll ask the user to re-enter the marks. Else if. So we can have any number of else ifs. So we need not check if it's less than 100. If the previous condition that is present in if, that is percentage is greater than 100 is false, that means percentage is obviously less than 100. So we can safely skip checking this percent if percentage is less than 100. So for any if else clause, you can have any number of if else statements and optional else at the end. So I'll check for if percentage is greater than or equal to 50 and again I need not check if it's if percentage is less than 60 because it has already checked that condition in previous else if only when it's false the next else if gets executed hope you understood this so i'll copy this and paste here grade b i'll check for grade c now whenever the condition is true it will skip executing the following else if clause if nothing is true all the condition in if and else if is false then by default else block is executed else block is optional by the way let's check it for percentage above 100 so it will give ask the user to reconsider entering the marks let's say for grade a which is between 60 percent and and 100 percent So that's grade A. Let's check for grade B, that is 50 and 59. Grade B. Let's check for grade C and for failure. So this is easy. So just concentrate this. In any if else clause, if else should have an if to start with okay it's not optional it's mandatory to have if else is optional the end statement that is else block and else statement is optional you can have it if you have that if none of the conditions in if and else if is true the else block will be executed by default so also know that since we have single statements here we can remove these curly braces only when you have multiple statements you can use curly braces. It's optional by the way. When, when you have only one statement, it's optional. When you have multiple statements, you, it is mandatory to put those block of code inside curly braces. So this is how else if clause works in C program. Thanks for watching. Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code and more notes and discussion. Also stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.